Hello everyone, here is Renata Camargo and I'm in charge of Soft Expert Communication Management. Enjoy your participation in our webinar, Food Safety and Traceability, Concerns and Capabilities in the Food and Beverage Industry. I'm here with Tobias Schroeder, Soft Expert's Product Marketing Manager. Hello Tobias. Hello everyone. Well, here's Tobias Schroeder. I'm going to talk about a subject that's more related to an industry that Soft Expert has a solution to accomplish. But before this, I'm going to talk about the business of food and beverage industry. Two main topics food safety and traceability, the concerns and the capabilities in this sector, in this industry that is an important industry for for business, okay? Well, let's start with the market, with some information about, about the market, the market of uh, uh, B, uh, bis uh, food and beverage industry, F and B. What is the, this market? It's the entire food industry from agriculture and food production, packaging and distribution to retail and food service. Service. So is the is the whole the whole chain beginning with the agriculture to the food service other concepts here with other kind of companies uh, will include regulatory companies research and development companies too related to, 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 to agriculture or to, to production of new of new foods chemicals machinery seed production farmers and of course manufacturing uh, of the of the products of the food food service Mills, packaging, shipping, etc. So it's not we we used to think on, on on food business, on food and beverage business, just at the, the, the at at food service, at restaurants, at mills or groceries, uh, this kind of thing. But it's not just this. We can see this in in, in some in some numbers th that you see on the follow slides well the food and beverage industry is a basic need some, some m more some some points related to to the market it's a basic need so people must buy food must buy beverage so it's not so so impacted to, to speculation to marketing, to business trends or demand trends, okay. So it's the basis of 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 the, of the food, of the basic, of the needs, of a scale of needs, okay. Everyone have to eat, have to drink. So little speculative influence that we have in other products. The most of them, but accepting food. Well, there is a lot of competitiveness in in this marketing. Yeah, it's not just because it's a basic need. There is uh, like a like a m monopoly. Uh, so there is a lot of com competitiveness. The, the the market aim for productivity. Okay, and customization what uh, what i what i mean with customization is the, the the market are 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 aiming for specific products we have now this this this, this think of healthy products healthy food healthy drink uh, we have this agrotoxic free products uh, organic products so even on food and beverage cust customization related to products thinking on, 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 on new 
innovating okay there is a trend towards concentration big companies acquiring small companies and creating huge companies of food and beverage so you see in the next slide what I'm what I'm talking to you much regulatory influence this is a very important important point there is a lot of regulatory influence on this market because there is a, a very important question there is security food security food safety so there is this 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 question relates to quality and security for quality of course companies invest in, in, in the process and want to offer to the to your to your customers quality products but security is not uh, a question related to sell more or is, is a question related to the security of the consumer so there is regulatory uh, laws and regulations regarding some specific products for example well this kind of concentration trend here we see we can see a few companies that have a lot of brands we know a lot of these brands at the market for example here we have Wonka chocolate Wonka is from Nestlé Crunch Kit Kat uh, is from Nestlé so we have Nestlé, Kraft, Coca-Cola, PepsiCo Kellogg's there is uh, other other brands here other companies that more related to to, to, to cleaning products or, or other kind of think but in food products we have this here this five or six here that that they own the most part of brands that we know <laughs> on, on, on talking about food and safety so you can see the, the, the companies are adopting this strategy to concentration <coughs> it's a tendency of the market that can uh, impact on how we see this market, on how we can analyze this market. I have two numbers here from the U United States market. It's from 2000, uh, less, uh, from the last year, 2012. It's a quite difficult to 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 have a number of the total revenue regarding food and beverage companies because there is different ways to do these and different ways to consider what is what is what is selling what is food or not not is what is food or not because it is obvious but the place that sell foods or not for example and gas stations they sell foods there but it's not in this number okay because it's another kind of service the main service another kind of service so it's not exactly but the both both institutes there understand that a good number for 2012 is 1.85 trillion trillions of, of dollars okay if we put this number on the total the total revenue of 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 of, uh, of the US GNP it will be like 12 percent okay so it's a very important market even in US here we are in Brazil in Brazil we have a, a, a situation a little bit a scenario a little bit different because we export a lot of of, of food not processed food, but products uh, from from agriculture. So we have this 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 difference between what we sell on or what we buy. This is important for us. This is a very important market for us to the economy of the whole country. Uh, 
but in US it's not different there is a, a significant part of the all of the product the products made produced uh, produce it in the in the country okay it's just to show you how important this market is well Let's talk about some top pressures on this market. This, all this, this, this information that I show to you, it, the, the most part of them is part of a research from Aberdeen regarding to this market in the last year. Okay, so it's very, it's very fresh information and very useful for, for us. Well, the top pressures on on, on the market here, Aberdeen. Uh, classify best in class companies in all waters. Best in class are the companies that are in a higher level or using technology or best practices. Okay, and all waters is like the average. Well, the top pressures for this best in class company is the need to is the need to comply with government regulatory so there is a lot of government regulatory requirements here we see FDA, DOT, uh, USDA, F FCs okay we can, we can list others but this is the main pressure and the other hand to the all oh, others companies or the average companies there are more worried about need to ensure product quality and custom and customer satisfaction okay are more uh, thinking on, on quality to the product and the best in class companies are not in this level anymore are worried with regulatory regulatory requirements or more or this is this this, this mean that is more they're more worried with with safety on their processes. Other two pressures are need to reduce the number of severity of quality, non compliance and recall events is very important too. And need to maintain or achieve a competitive advantage advantage. So this is a pressure not so important but is in is yet in top four. Some specific regulations. The main one when we talk in food safety is ISO 22000. At least here in Brazil, and considering ISO a, a global company, I know that in your country or uh, should be other regulations that one is more important than other. But I like to to talk about ISO 22000 because. It's the basis of all waters, okay? So because he has, it has a, a framework, a very consolidated framework with steps well defined. That is the basis from all water that that are listed here. So ISO twenty two thousand is basically a JCCP hazard analysis and critical control points that this is a concept before ISO 22000 and GMP, good manufacturing practices of course apply it to food processes other specific regulations, Food Safety Modernization Act this is very important Global Food Safety Initiative Internal Food Standard Safe, safe Quality Food and other resolutions or specific ordinances more related to one kind of product, for example, with meals, with, with meat and or milk, there is specific regulations regarding to milk production. Okay, I just show you some some samples here, and this this box of eight is is is, is a juice that we have here in in, in Brazil that recently had a problem regarding to uh, uh, to a contamination 
with this apple juice and cause a lot of impact on the image reputation of the company okay so there is a lot of this kind of examples and you should know some of them where some 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 contaminations or problems regard uh, when occur safety problems to, to the health of the consumer cause uh, impacts on the reputation of the company in the product and there's a lot of money invested in this and you have to invest more to have your reputation back with, with the same level and the companies don't want to do this again well the food industry lags behind our water industries in adoption of enterprise application this is an affirmation for example ERP in our manufacturing is 74 percent 74 percent of companies are adopting ERP solutions on, on, on their manufacturing while in food companies this index is only 69% okay well there is other indexes from other applications here quality management system KMS 62% supply chain management 54% Product life cycle management (PLM) 25%. Oh, all of these levels compared to to other numbers of other companies, or, or other industries, other sectors are lower than these others. Okay, so the food industry industry lags behind all other industries in adoption of enterprise application. This is concerning. Is a concerning regarding regarding to this why why indu why food industry is at this level considering the top pressures now we have the top strategies what companies are doing are investing in this in in this sector well there is not so difference between best in class companies and all waters on this graphic here. The first one, the top strategy is a building compliance and traceability to production processes. Well, um, a stronger integration between compliance questions and traceability questions to the production production process. Okay. The companies nowadays are have specific solutions have specific like we, we call silos oh we I, I do traceability with these and compliance questions are, 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 are not to this department are, are, are responsibility for other departments and my production process is this and okay I'm well with this I'm fine the second one create or improve visibility and control of quality across product innovation manufacturing and supply chain operations or is is pretty related to the first one but more related to visibility and control how companies have visibility and control of quality across all of these steps beginning with product innovation to manufacturing and supply chain and on the last steps operations too. okay it's related to traceability too. the third increase responsiveness to non-conformances okay you have non-conformances and have to act quickly I have to increase this increase this responsiveness increase the time to response increase mm, methods procedures to do this when something that is not that was not expected happens okay improve the quality performance of critical suppliers 
is the the, the last one for best in class for awarders is the third one so there are too much worry concern about suppliers so of course perfectly perfectly understandable because suppliers are parts of my products of my product if I have a problem with my product af at the end the consumer will not look for oh who is this supplier that, that no your brand is there the name of your company is there so we have to improve quality performance performance and evolve even your suppliers you are responsible for a suppliers or packaging supplier not just for from the producers for the farmers but even for packaging considering the needs the, the, the like like a merge of the f the both first one with second one I I write some this n the need to comply with regulatory requirements. That one of not not one of the main strategies, but is the m the main pressure of the first graphic there. The need to comply with regulatory requirements. What are the actions? The both we see we saw building compliance traceability production process improve visibility across design to deliver business processes what are the capabilities what I have to do or even where people are where, where companies are doing standardized procedures for handling customer complaints okay this is easy standardized escalation procedures for quality non, comp non compliance and recall events uh, across enterprise Perform mock recalls to improve and evaluate organizational response. This is, this is just an example. Have standardized procedures, have standardized escalation, perform simulations to recalls to improve the, the, this, this response. Okay. Uh, and, and what are the, enab the enables for this? What, I, what are what what is my support for doing this is it so simple not we can see this there's there is a lot a lot of technologies a lot of methodologies that face to some capabilities or to another that face with some actions or not one of them ERP and supply chain management manufacturing operation management too quality management system AJCCP that is more related to food safety and traceability engine okay so it's not there is not one simple tool that is fit perfectly with your company's needs <laughs> this is not a good news but no it's not time yet <laughs> to to the but okay but but we'll see in the next slides a good news too not just bad news here on this webinar compliance processes what are the main compliance process that people that people that companies are are facing or are investing the first one is AJCCP, Hazard Analysis and Critical Control Point. So, if you are one of them, okay, you are with the, with the most part of the companies. They are still investing on food safety, okay. Uh, standard operating procedures, this is the part of, this is it's like a basis to, to have GMP, good manufacturing, principles or practices and to have HACCP. I I can talk that they are complementary these three okay but of course you you can have just SOP or just GMP but to have HACCP is very important to have 
GMP and SOP. Okay. But this is a scenario that what people, what companies are investing, food and beverage companies. And the key impacts adopting new regulation. There is a lot of restriction, difficulty to adopt a new regulation. And there is a lot of new regulation surging being invented um, every year. So what is the impact? Well, the first one, the top one is increase in documentation and record storage. We all know about this. A new regulation required to me to increase documentation steps and I have more records to storage. We have two impacts tied here with 36% investment in technology to improve auditing and documentation okay not just to improve auditing and documentation but even to operational to, 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 to put in practice the, the, the this new process to be compliant um, with this new regulation and more supply certifications and inspections mm. okay and in the top four yet more internal auditing and inspections uh, of course when I have something new to do I have to check if this thing are doing correctly more auditing more inspections no doubt about this all of this means work more work and more investment okay Now, let's take a summary of the main demands, the key demands. The next slide, I will I, I list three of the main demands for this sector, for this industry. The main requirements and very briefly, how Softy Expert can help with some solutions that we have to help in this sector. The main, the main demand, one of the main demands, regulation. People, uh, companies are in this market full of new regulations, as we, as I, I have told, told you before. So, food safety. Food safety takes me to ISO 22000 or other regulation and its developments, AJCP requirements and prerequisite programs. Prerequisite programs are good manufacturing practices, training, training of, 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 of my employees, supplier control and traceability too. So of these uh, require some technology to to improve this process because to do all of these manually or with spreadsheets Excel spreadsheets is not a corporate solution so soft expert offers two of good solutions for this soft expert enterprise risk management we focus on foods with focus on ISO 22000 ISO 22000 is not different that risk applied to food production okay and soft expert enterprise quality management solution our solution for quality management includes training include supply and control include non conformances include quickly response with through action plans to problems that could occur okay so these are the two main solutions for soft expert more related to regulation just the main steps of AJCCP there are 
five preliminary steps and seven principles. Oh, everyone, each one of these steps, we have to you you have different needs. For example, assemble the AJCP team. I have to describe the product. I have to describe the intended use. I have to develop the process flow diagram. I have to verify this flow diagram. So I start on identification my risks, my my hazards, identification analysis, and apply the control measures. Now I have critical control points that have critical limits. So I have to monitor these limits and establish corrective action plans and verification plans. And from all of these, I have to keep and record. Uh, keep my recordings and my documentation procedures. Well, it's a lot of thing. When we see, oh, this will be difficult, but Soft Expert has a solution for this. Now, if we put this in, in, in like a diagram, oh, it's, it's not so clear for you, but in the first lane here, I have Soft Expert risk management. Here, I identify the risks, identify the con critical control points, I do all the approvals and the analysis. I have a, a component called PDM, that is Product doc uh, Data Management. In this component I will describe the product, describe the intended use, uh, establish the, 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 the characteristics and the limits and monitor monitoring procedures. I have the process component when I describe the, the process flow, flow dry diagram and if I verify the flow diagram. So, our solution is a set of different components that integrated can help you to put in practice your HACCP easily. Not just the HACCP, but training people, monitoring suppliers, of issues re regarding to traceability okay so this is one of the demands second demand is quality quality management is still a demand not just quality I put in this in this topic here environment health and safety too okay this is directly related to cust cu customer satisfaction and the process warranty so we have issues like corrective and prev preventive actions, problem analysis, okay. Regarding to environment, health and safety, aspect, impact, hazard, risk, programs, okay. Monitoring, non conformance recalls, events. All of these related to quality of my products have the same solution called enterprise quality management software and there is a specific solution called EA EHSM Environment Health and Safety Management from from Soft Expert. Another important demand that we talk talk at just at the beginning of this presentation is research and development. We have a lot of clients here from Soft Expert aiming for research and development even on food companies too. So of the part of production, product planning, what will be, what is uh, the new ideas regarding to new products from 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 the sector? Uh, how I put this in practice? How I control the life cycle management of production? How I understand the market requirements, the competition? Sorry, competition. The new products there are being uh, launched in the market so this involves <laughs> topics like portfolio management requests project management that control all my 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 my, my products uh, manufacturing line tracking and monitoring deviations including deviations and all of the documentation of this documentation of this product so this is a solution that you call Soft Expert Product Lifecycle Management, PLM. You should 
think that no, this is just important for other kind of companies, manufacturing, consumer goods companies, but not. But this is related to food companies too, because they are they need to invest on research and development, because as we see in the information, we have more competitiveness, we have trend for concentration, so people, are, uh, companies are are beginning to to invest in this and all of companies of food and beverage companies has to invest on this on product and life cycle management so I, I'm talking because it's real here in Brazil we have some big companies using Softex or PLM for investing on life cycle management for food production okay of course project and portfolio management that is a solution specifically to product project management and BPM and business process management soft text for business process management that is are still in, that is important still important for a lot of process or automating process during during this the, 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 the life cycle well what is soft expert at all i i talk to you about some solutions ri risk management solutions more related to food safety environmental health and safety solution more related to to this kind of quality regard related to to health and safety management project portfolio management and where is oh, here product life cycle management and quality enterprise quality management so we saw like a four or five solutions from soft expert that is more than this soft expert excellence suite that is our whole product here our whole suite that has other kind of solutions regarding to ITSM regarding to enterprise asset management, human development management. All of them are integrated, talk each other to provide to the final user the best experience regarding to their needs. S okay, so on this, even on this industry, food and beverage companies, in all of these pressures, needs and concerns regarding to food safety, regard, regarding to quality management, to life cycle research and development, soft expert can offer you a complete solution. So if you are interested in this, you can contact us through our website that we and there you can download some materials, some demonstrations, data sheets and videos and requests for a live demo too. I hope that you understand what I what, what my purpose on, on, on doing this webinar more related to a specific industry and the aim the pains and the concerns regarding to this industry I hope you understand these and more than these what are the strategies what companies are doing what are the technologies that, that are required to comply with all, with all of this I thank you a lot we, are, we have not question session because this is a recorded webinar but if you want to get in touch, here is my personal email, tobias.schroeder at softexpert.com. If you have some doubts, I can answer with pleasure. Okay? Thanks a lot.